Welcome to Tim's Antique Trains. Hello. This evening I'd like to show you a real quick update of my HO layout reconstruction progress. As you can see, it looks a whole lot different than it did last time I recorded. So now all the bench work is complete and there are some nice trim pieces that have been going on um, almost complete all the way around. In a minute I'll switch to the outside so we can see what the outside looks like. The next step will be to put on the grass mat. So I'm a fan of that. I like it's easy and simple and green. It looks better than the green paint here. I was very happy with how it turned out on the American Flyer layout. So the uh, bridge area still has to be finished. And then moving along, I have this end over here where all my construction parts and pieces are located currently. That will not get grass mat. Well, it'll get grass mat in some areas and then some will be um, foam and other scenery. Underneath I added a shelf, actually it's two pieces of a shelf, but it's a nine foot long shelf to store all my boxes of building materials and track and train pieces and rolling stock. Uh, it's a lot more organized than what it was all strewn on the floor underneath the American Flyer layout. And then boxes of my flyer track down underneath buildings, scenery, trees, perfect spot for my vacuum cleaner. And check this out. I was just at a swap meet the other week, um, last Saturday, I believe, and I got this bridge for $10. Take a look and see, it actually fits perfectly. So I want the bridge to sit flush about like that. So I don't want it sitting up. So what I'll end up doing is notching out the homeless oat uh, and then probably removing these extra feet on the bottom of this bridge on each end so that it fits flush and I don't have the trains ramping up or down. I like this bridge. It puts my little Tyco bridges to shame. I only wish I had two of those. But I'll have one nice bridge and a couple Tyco bridges. Alright, let's go outside the layout and I'll be right back. Alright, this is what the view is when you first walk into my train room. Well, obviously it's still a little messy, but um, it's making a whole lot of progress. The plastic is gone and I'm pretty happy with this uh, the results so far. So I've got this nice trim board. As I mentioned earlier, I found it at a local restore and it was pre-stained so I picked it up and it works perfect for the trim. Now these corners I had to miter and this one's not finished. The other one's not finished either so I'll have to put those angle pieces on later. But getting those corners on a sort of a rough piece of wood is a little tricky. And the same goes for this opposite corner too. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is start rolling out my grass mat. So I'll be back in a little while and show you that. There it is. Okay, I'm gonna have to trim this down to the pieces I want. I'll be back in a little while and show you. Okay. The grass mat is laid in place, more or less, and I have extra American Flyer track weighting it down because otherwise it tends to curl up on itself. So once it's flattened out, I will be able to tack it down in place and uh, start laying HO track. So this is exciting that the next time I do a video on this layout, I should have 
some form of a train running. Thanks for watching.